Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So after a brief interlude where we have just gone and had a little bit of wandering round, it's time to get back to work, so let's get back to it. I picked up crude... I picked up crude oil when I did that! My first ever bit of crude oil! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Right, you're making too much noise. And now we can go over here, so we don't want to do that. I want to do that. And then I want to go underneath it like that. Go out to here. I want to go underneath it again. And uh, I want to go out that side. So I want to go out over here like that. And I want to bring it over to this side. And then I want to go... Like that. And I'm done. I'm done. I've done it. I have I have built a ramp all the way from our base down to the ground in the new location over here. Right? I have done it. I've gone all the way round. Let me just go there. Chop down all those petals like that. We get rid of them. They're now out of the way. And leaves can go petals we can get rid of. That's all the space that I want. I've done it! I have got a ramp all the way from way up there right the way over to the base. And yeah, it's a little bit sort of windy in places, but <laughs> this is fantastic! Here we go. So there's... Th that's as far as we've gotten. Travelled all the way up there. That's a long way to go, isn't it? People said something about going via the beach. I'm assuming this is the beach that they were talking about. So I'm going to need power down here. Uh, but I just I just want to come up here a minute so that I can take a look. So th there's all these patches around for the crude oil. So I'm going to need I need more than just one item for the crude oil, don't I? And down here I got oil pump. I've only got enough to build one. Right? I got an oil pump over there. Like that. I got, there's an oil pump over there, one oil pump there, Are there any more? Uh, don't appear to be, right, so I've got, I can put three oil pumps going on this patch down here. So I'll put an oil pump going there on that patch right there. That's the first one that we're going to put. Now, I've only got five heavy modular frames. I don't actually, I didn't actually have the materials over here to build any more of those. Although, let me have a look a minute. Have, have I, what, what other bits have I got? The oil pump right there. I've, I've got enough of the other materials to do it. Let's just build myself a crafting bench a second. I might be able to make it. All right, I'll throw that one down. Now look in here, what do we got? Modular frame, I can make 15 modular frames. I've got 28 modular frames already. Uh, it's the, the heavy frames. Heavy modular frame right there. I just need 90 screws to do that, uh, which is some of them. 90 screws for each one, and I need five. I don't have enough to make that many. Do I? I don't think I do. I've got the beams. I've got enough of those to make... I've only got enough of those to make three. I don't have any steel. Excuse me. And I need five heavy modular frames in order to be able to do it. So no, we can't do that. We don't have the materials here to be able to make another one. Right, so that's that bit out. And it can figure. No power, crude oil, 120 per minute. I have got mountains and masses and hundreds of uh, bits that we can use to increase the speed that that can produce at. We can also go and build a belt all the way back to our factory but what other people have told me is if we go and have a look in here and go to the oil refinery i can't make the the four from here either crash crude oil into other parts can be automated by feeding parts in to it with a conveyor belt connected to the input so yeah i've, I've been told some people what they do is they actually make an oil refinery and they refine the oil at the main site, and then they bring it back. 
And other people, they just bring everything back to the main base. I Personally, I would rather just bring it all back to the main base. Um, I mean, maybe it would it would work better if we were to do it another way, but honestly, I think I would prefer to do it just by doing it at the main base. Now, I'm going to remove that bit. I don't think we need this anymore. So I can get rid of that. I'll come down here a second. And, yeah, I know that we got that bit out over there. We'll, we'll worry about that later. So uh, we'll worry about that another time. Start getting rid of some of these. I don't know how many that I want to get rid of. Uh, there. It's not always easy to line them up. I, I'm doing every other one at the moment. We should be able to get the rest of them. There. It's not that many materials, but I mean, it is a few. It's, it's especially it's the, the iron rods. And that's one that we don't have a huge number of either. There and there. Right, that is all of those removed. I've got a tractor in the way now, and this is another thing that I'm wanting to test out, is throwing a tractor off the edge to see what it does, but I need a parachute for that. I had mycelium down. Ooh. Can I do... Can I jump off the... That would be a really, really stupid thing to attempt at the moment. Right? It would be a lot of fun to attempt it, but until I'm absolutely certain that uh, no harm will come to us, it would be a daft thing to attempt now. I mean, maybe we could do that later. I'm going to leave the tractor where it is. I'm not going to bother taking the tractor back to the main base. Uh, that one will stay exactly where it is for now. We've got power running all the way from our base. We do have that much. So I can go over here and I can get power from up there. To go in a little bit. There we go. Right. I can get power from there. Like that. Wire is too long, but it will go to that one. Uh, yeah, that is the right side. Bring you. Yep. Yeah. Right. Now we run over here. And I get this power to run as far as it possibly can stretch, which is about here. Over to that point right there. And then go over again. It won't take too long to run this over. The only time-consuming bit is going to be running the belt back, which I actually forgot to bring the materials for, didn't I? I brought concrete, but I didn't actually bring any of the bars that I need to bring the fast belt. That was really, really stupid. Right, well, we're, we're gonna, we'll have to run back to the base then and gather up the other materials, and then we can start running a belt back over. Oop, wire is too long. And, I mean, it won't take too long to do that. It's... It... <gasps> <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. I'm, I'm, I'm voting that we don't do that. That that was, uh, that that was potentially one of the most idiotic things that I've yet done, ever. <laughs> I nearly just ran straight off the edge. That that really would have been a bad move. Right down there. Wire is too long. Uh, it's not too long to go to that point. So we'll go to there. And then... I'll go to there. Then I will run it down this way and... See... Will it reach down there? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Right, and it won't reach all the way down there, but it will reach to that point. So we can go to there and then I can run it down. Can I run it? I can run it straight onto there. I won't, though. What I will do is... Actually, I'm going to put a power pole Mark II down there in the middle. And I'm going to take a power line off of there. And I'm going to take a power line off of there. And put that up to there like that. Oil is up. Oil is up and running. Yes. Ha-ha. <laughs> We're producing oil, 120 crude oil per minute. We are now producing. That is absolutely fantastic. 
I got clear water down here. Can you go in the clear water? Does it hurt? Can you go under it? I don't think you can go under it, can you? Oh, no, we did. Oh, no. I'm just swimming on top of it. Yeah, I'm just swimming around on top of it. You can't go underneath it by the look of it. That's a bit of a shame. Still. Uh, I want to go there, Zed. So that's where the that's where the river goes. It sort of goes out round that way. Now, is it going in here? Does it flow out that way? Does it flow this way? Is it faster? I think it is still faster to go back via that one. We don't have a speedo on our run through here, but I'm fairly certain that we are we move faster than what the truck does, than what the tractor does. Fairly certain. Doesn't mean to say I'm hundred percent certain on it, but I'm I'm reasonably certain of it. That we do in fact move faster. But down there we we've got it. We've done it. We've got a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful beach location up here. This is gorgeous up here actually. It's absolutely fantastic. It's abs it, it mind blowing. It really is. It's it's really cool. I've got the oil being produced, but I didn't bring the materials for the belt, so I need to run all the way back to the base, get the materials for the belt, then run all the way back over here, right the way over to this side, and then start placing down the belt all the way back through. We haven't got that far to connect up the belt because I've already done a lot of work to it. Right, I've got belt up to there, and that goes most of the way back to where we lasted the belt. And that runs all the way back to the base. So I have got potential that I can bring all of the crude oil that we produce. Now, 120 barrels a minute for crude oil coming off of that one pump. And we can put three pumps in that single location down there. It doesn't appear to be any faster. Let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be any faster using these belts. But I am wondering if using the um, the Mark IV belt, once we get that one, I'm wondering if that one is going to be faster than this. I don't like the way that it judders like that. That looks absolutely terrible. So what we'll do is move to that old chainsaw right there and I'll drop that one in there. There. No, I haven't got anything in my hand. And somebody did say some time ago in the comments, uh, press K and that should remove the item from your hand. It doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I don't know if there's uh, something wrong, but it doesn't work for me. And when I looked in the shortcuts menu to like see if maybe I could configure it like that, nope, there's no option for it. So that's, that's not a thing that I'm able to do. That's as far as we go at the moment. I'll go over there, and then we've got to run down here. So we've got to join up the belt on this bit, which is only along this bit of ramp, and down the slope. And then we've got the belt down the bottom, down there. So we've only got to just bring it down to there, and then we can carry on through again. But this is the other bit that I was wondering about, was how do I make a second belt? If I, I mean, yeah, ideally we want a train coming through here, and I, I, we might be able to build the train... And build a track all the way back through here without needing to like worry about a second layer, without needing the crystals. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, conveyor pole stackable. Right there. If I go the regular conveyor pole, it doesn't let me put that one on. Stackable conveyor pole. Like that. Invalid aim location, that is. Well, I'm... I'm ooh. Oh, it does, it does stack up over it. See, I can bring that one up onto there, and then I can bring that one out over to here. But that's not going to let me put it on top. So I have got to manually go along, and I've got to put one of those everywhere that we got one of the other bits. If we want to do a double joint on this. If, if we, if we want to double that one up, that's what we've got to do. Let's remove that. And I can climb back up onto here. And keep running. The bit that's genuinely surprised me about all of this is just how far 
this map does actually extend. Like, I thought it was just, like, a little bit out from the base. Maybe as far as the, the cliffs right there. So it's genuinely surprised me just how far we've had to go in order to be able to sort of cover everything and, and, and s like, see the full extent of everything that we've got here. And it's absolutely fantastic. It's amazing just how far we can go with this thing. So as soon as we've... Hang on, I want to go over to our base bit over here. Once we've got the train, the, we, we need the oil back here because there's a few bits that we want to get with it, right? We want the, the oil back here. So tier four in here. I've got the alternate heavy modular frames in here now. I can send those. Actually, I can just send them off. Select milestone. Send in some concrete and a few of those and ten of those. Right, you go. So I've got the alternate heavy modular frame. Ideal. And have a look in here. Alternate Caterium circuit board in there. Alternate computer in there. And quartz crystals. And the rifle, Caterium electronics. High speed connectors. Tier 6 up here. Conveyor belt Mark 4. That's the one right there. Now, fuel generator and the Mark 4 conveyor belts. 480 resources per minute. Monorail train technology as well. Now, we need to be able to build supercomputers for that, which means that we need the oil back here before we can do anything. And I'm pretty sure we need the... Do we need the crystals? I'm not sure if we need crystals. We've got empty platform, freight platform, train station, railway itself, electric locomotive, and freight car. Uh, people have been telling me they have been having a lot of fun with this. So I don't know if we actually have to put that down onto a platform or if we can put it out to the side of our platform that we've got over there. I don't really know how it works at the moment. But it's going to be a lot of fun finding out. I'm going to here and I want to deposit that one and that one. And I'm going to keep those with me. Definitely want to keep those with me because, uh, yeah, there's, um, I'll want to put some of those. I think I'm just going to fill up the oil with those. I put everything I can in, into the oil. And the rest of those items, I won't take anything else. But what I will do is I'm, I'm not going to take everything now. I'm going to run that. And I'm going to bring the oil back here and I'm going to deal with the oil back on this side. So I will drop in a load of this concrete like this. Because I don't want to be using all that. Left me with 400 concrete. And then I want to go over this side. I've got steel bars over here. And... Right. That's what I wanted to look at. Was in here. There we go. We've got, I got hundreds of those now. That's actually working really well. So we've got a steady supply of concrete coming from over there. And we've got a steady supply of these. And he's in here. That one's full, so we're still sort of using those. And then you over this side, you are full as well, so take all. I'll take every single thing that I can from that one because I'm going to need... I, I've got a lot of belt that I need to build. I've got loads of belt that I need to build. Uh, I know what I need to double check because we're gonna, also I need several of those. So logistics right there, the conveyor pole... 122 iron rods. I'll go and just top up the iron rods and the iron bars that I've got. So we go into here and I'll just top that one there. See, I've, I've got those. Right, for... There. Top that one and top that one up to a full 200. And then I'll do the same with the iron plates, which is in this chest. Over here. Storage container, I should say, not chest. Wrong game, Frith. And don't think we need to reinforce Oh, I I need two I need enough materials now to make two more of not organization. We want production. I need two more of those. So I've got the other materials, but I need ten heavy modular frames. Am I I'm not I don't think I'm making heavy modular frames yet. Did I have it set so that I was I was I making them? No, I'm not making heavy modular frames yet, but I do have plenty of these. I've, I've got some materials over here being made. And if we look in here, you can see we're, we're, we're still chugging through and making those at four per minute. 
I got none in there whatsoever, but I've got a couple of them in here. I, I do have a couple. So let's let's take a, a few of those and we'll drop them into there like that. Uh, that makes 50 of them. Should be enough materials to make the rest of the items down in here. I need 10 heavy modular frames. Let's get rid of that oil a second. So I've got a bit of space. Like that. And I'm going to go over to here. 10 heavy modular frames. Modular frame. And heavy modular frame. Oh. I need, I need, I need those screws. Uh, where am I making screws? Screws. I'm making screws on this. I'm... Oh, I still got that issue. Throwing screws in there as fast as I can, and that's putting the, the, the rotors out the other way. Screws are making in here, but I'm not producing them fast enough. Uh, I've got rotors in there. Then I'm making six per minute, so we still need to kind of need to get those back up again. I'll take a few more of them. There's a hundred of them. How many screws do I need? So look, oil pump right there. Oh, it's the, no, it's, it's fire. I need 90, I need 10, I need 900. I got 100. I need 900 of those, all told. A few more coming in. Right, let's grab those 19. It's 100. You know, it'd be quicker if I just go and make them myself, because I don't actually have any in a storage tank at the moment, which is a little, it's not really thinking things through, is it? Make 1,200 of them there. So let's, let's make more than... I can always go and get more rods, can't I? And I've got all the materials that I need right here. I don't need to be carrying those around. That's, that's one stack too many that I don't need to be carting about. I needed 900 of these. I'm going to use up a full stack of those iron rods. Clear those out of the way. There we go. Move those. Right, 900. We want to go up to 400. There. Ooh, exactly. Ideal. And three. Oh, now I need, now I need those. It's never ending in here. It's it's, it's absolutely never ending. Right. Uh, take those. Actually, that would probably be enough. No, it won't. I need four hundred and fifty of them. I don't have the space for four hundred and fifty. So let's let's just make what we can, just for a moment. Not enough. Really, really, are you gonna do that to me now? Not enough space in inventory. The, 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 let's get rid of these the statters. I, I don't, 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 don't need those. Those can go in there. Right. Let's clear them out. I'm, I, it's handy to have a, like everything like that in case I wanted to pick up a hard drive. But I'm not going to need to pick up a hard drive, I don't think. At least I'm assuming that I don't. And we go into there. All right, I've got enough to make nine. Which means I need just a few more of the... Uh, tubes, I think. 90% certain that the reason I can't make all of them is because, yeah, I need uh, just a couple more tubes. And yes, I do. Just a few more of these. Right. I'll take one stack of them. And I'll go back over this side into here. Make the final one of them. That makes 10 right there. I've now also cleared out a little bit more space. I've got space there for the other stuff. I've got 70 of them left. I want another full stack of them, which I will grab from here, like that. So I've got 170 of them. I've got a stack of those. I've got... Oh, I don't think I've got enough concrete. No, I don't need concrete. Okay, I don't need, I don't need the encased concrete to do anything. The only thing that I will take is just in case I do find a hard drive is I will actually take one stack of those and I've now got everything I need for the return journey, I believe. I can make two of them, two oil pumps, yes, and I've also got everything to be able to make the belt to bring that all the way back and I've got plenty of materials to be able to make those because they, yeah, they just need a bit of wire and the bits and pieces okay so i i do indeed have everything well with a bit of luck we should have just enough materials to bring everything all the way back through what we'll do to start with is go all the way back over to the oil we will place down the um the pumps down there and we get the belt all in place on that side and then start running it back over here 
And then the next thing that we're going to try and do is obviously get the belt going through this side. And then we're going to want to possibly... Now, I'm not saying that we're going to do this at the moment, but possibly soon think about getting a monorail uh, up and running. And now, if we can get a monorail coming back through here, that would be absolutely wonderful, amazing, and tickety-boo. However, some people have said that we're not going to be able to run monorail down here because monorail requires a shallower ramp. We won't be able to use it. So... We'll be able to just put a straight shallow ramp all the way down on this bit, which will be absolutely fine. But where we go down the other side of our base, that could prove to be a little bit more tricky. Um, why have we got explodable rocks down there? What is under that? Something, no doubt. There is no doubt something under there. We'll, we'll have a look at that later. So, yeah, we've um, this bit here would be easy enough to put the shallower ramp, which we can do. But it's doing the, the bit out the other side. Um, we may have to build an entirely new ramp to get the monorail to work properly on there or try another approach. I don't really know what we're going to do at the moment. And we'll worry about that when we actually get monorail up and running. The moment... Yeah, we, we, we don't even have it unlocked. So if we can get oil back to the base, then we can focus on doing a little bit more work at the base. Because we've spent a... L steady. Uh, we've spent a long time building this ramp. Right? We've spent a very, very long time... Ooh, there was one thing I was, I was looking at. Is we've now got that one. But it's exactly the same. They all require six pieces of concrete. So we've now got one meter foundation we can use instead of the two meter one for when we're building additional floors although i suspect actually the building a one meter foundation is going to be a little bit slower going because it's not so easy for things to snap onto the sides and that sort of ability for them to snap to the sides is half of the appeal to them so we'll, we'll wait and see on that bit we we um we may not have very much in a way of benefits from it we'll have to see for a minute, I thought we were supposed to go down there. Once we've got the ramp going up the side, that'll that'll make life a lot easier. We'll be able we'll be able to see where we're going a lot better now. When we were over here before, there was a spider running around, and I've also been told that there is additional giant nasty creatures have been now added into the game, and I don't think we've seen any of them yet. I'm just going to hope that we don't have any of them here. We we did manage to unlock some stuff previously. And I'm looking around here. I'm, I got a feeling that if we build stuff and then we go away again and we come back, that it despawns some of the creatures. Like, they, they, only, they don't get too close to your structures. So as long as we've got structures here, then we shouldn't have any issues. We've got a long way to go to bring Belt all the way over here, haven't we? Uh, we've got a really long way to travel to to, to bring the belt. Because we, we've got to get all the way down there. We, I mean, we've got a nice lot of oil down the bottom there. There is a huge amount of oil. And then you've got that um, pillar over there where you can actually parkour your way all the way to the top of that pillar. I'm thinking it would be easier if we were just to build a ramp all the way out over. It would be a lot easier in trying to parkour our way across it thinking that parkour would end up being very, very messy for us. Now, we've got to remember, we want to, it's got to be on our left-hand side as we come down through this new bit that we want to do, which means that when we're going up, it's got to be on our right-hand side. Here we go. Right down to the bottom, into the mist. Into the mist down here. So we got that one right there, and we want to go through here. We've got more oil down here that we can make. We go to uh, production. There it is. Oil pump. Uh, spin that one round over there like that. And I've got materials to build one more oil pump. Okay, that doesn't do anything. So I got I got that one there. Have I got another thing for oil down here? I don't think I have, but I just want to have a little look around just in case I have. You know, we'd all, we can always bring back another one. But, I mean, this oil seems pretty good. Get rid of this. 
And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.